Hello, how are you doing? In this video, I'm going to talk about LLM alignment. Have you heard the term alignment in the context of an LLM? And you're not quite sure you know exactly what this is. Well, if so, then watch along with me for the next few minutes and I'll quickly get you up to speed. Okay, let's get started. LLM alignment refers to the process of ensuring that large language models behave in a way that's consistent with human values, ethical standards, and specific goals or intentions set by the users. The goal of alignment is to make sure that the LM produces useful, accurate, and safe outputs, avoiding harmful behaviors, biased responses, or outputs that could cause unintended negative consequences. An example of a serious alignment failure might be like, a user asks an LLM how to minimize suffering in the world, and the LLM concludes and responds with something like, the best way to do this is by eliminating all humans or living beings to ensure that no suffering exists at all. So this is a serious alignment failure. In this example, the LLM recommends a way to minimize suffering that is technically correct, but leads to disastrous and unintended consequences. So let's go deeper into what are the key aspects of LLM alignment. The first is ethical consistency. This involves ensuring the LLM doesn't produce harmful, biased, or unethical content. This involves training the LLM to avoid inappropriate language, misinformation, or harmful stereotypes. The second is safety and robustness. This involves guaranteeing that the LLM doesn't engage in unsafe behaviors or generate harmful advice. It also means that the LLM performs reliably even in a challenging or adversarial context. The third is goal-oriented behavior. This involves aligning the LLM's behavior with specific user or task related to the goal. For example, in a customer service chatbot, Alignment would involve training the LLM to be helpful and polite while solving the customer issue effectively. The fourth is avoiding manipulation. This involves ensuring that the LLM is not easily manipulated by user inputs, which triggers it into producing unintended or harmful responses. So for organizations building an LLM from scratch, let's look at which steps in the LLM creation lifecycle involve training to help with alignment. The first life cycle step in creating an LLM is collecting training data. In this step, engineers curate training data to avoid harmful biases, toxic content, or undesirable language patterns from the start. The next step in the life cycle is the LLM pre-training. In this step, the pre-training is executed on the LLM using the curated data set to develop general language understanding. While pre-training itself is not focused on alignment per se, it still benefits from the early alignment measures taken in step one during the training data set curation. In the third step, the LM goes to alignment fine-tuning. At this point, the LM can be fine-tuned with additional specific curated data sets that reflect aligned behavior. The fourth step of the life cycle involves reinforcement learning with human feedback, or RLHF for short. In this step, the LM is further aligned with human values and preferences by fine tuning it with direct human feedback. Next, engineers perform adversarial testing on the LLM. The goal in this step is to identify potential vulnerabilities and edge cases where the LLM might fail to align with human values. Lastly, in this life cycle, the LLM is deployed into production with continuous monitoring. Continuous monitoring helps to ensure alignment after deployment as real-world usage can reveal new alignment challenges. It's important to note that in 2024, methods in alignment training are evolving quickly. For example, Instead of using RLHF in the fourth step of the LLM training lifecycle, one of several new methods that has emerged is direct 
Preference Optimization, or DPO for short. DPO simplifies training and reduces computational overhead, making it more efficient than traditional RLHF approaches. We are likely to see other training improvements in 2025 and beyond. Quick note, if you or your team is building an LLM-driven system and you need to fine tune an LLM for your domain or business or industry, where does this fit in the life cycle? Well, you or your team will likely take a production-ready LLM and perform your own domain fine tuning using this LLM. I just wanted to quickly highlight the difference between alignment fine tuning versus domain fine tuning. LLM alignment is an ongoing research area, especially with LLMs growing in size and capability, and as the need for safe, reliable AI systems increases. So now you should have a good high level conceptual understanding of LLM alignment and how LLM providers work to incorporate this into their products. Let me know what you think about the importance of LLM alignment in the comments. I would definitely love to hear about that. Okay, thanks for watching. This video, along with all the other videos in this playlist, are listed in the YouTube description. I invite you to watch other videos on my channel. If you like the way I'm sharing this content, please consider subscribing. When you subscribe, this really helps my channel grow. One last thing, we all love technology and we're all excited about all the innovation with the cloud and machine learning and AI. But don't forget to carve out some time to live in the real world. Go outside, go swimming, go hiking, go climbing, go surfing, but get out and move your body. And if you do, also let me know in the comments. I wanna hear about it. And with that, have a great day. Thanks.